Um, do we have anyone in yet well, to check what, sound? We'll test. we'll test the sound this time. That's that good. is great. It's working. Okay. Um, I'll start off. My name is Maddie Debussy. I am the coordinator for residence education at Adohi Hall, or CRE as you'll hear, hear me be called. Um, we are actually right next to Pomfret Hall, right over here, with this little nice pathway that leads up to our wonderful and gorgeous hall. There it is, Adohi Hall right there, and then Pomfret. Hey, Harley's telling us it sounds much better. Awesome! This Good. is great. We're going to be rocking and rolling. Thanks, Harley. <laughs> Um, so if you were curious, Adohi actually is a word from the Cherokee Nation that actually consulted us on naming this hall. Adohi means woods um, in Cherokee, and it also is to signify uh, the Trail of Tears that the indigenous peoples walked uh, through and near Fayetteville, Arkansas, towards Oklahoma um, back in the 18, 1800s. Um, we actually have a marker south of the hall to talk about and commemorate the Trail of Tears and the indigenous peoples that moved through this area. Absolutely. And paying tribute to that history. Mm -hmm. um, so we actually also have this wonderful hammock park here, mm -hmm. weirdly transitioning. Um, this is a great way for your students to set up hammocks, read a book, enjoy the weather, and love the openness that we have available here at Adohi Hall. There's a lot of great green spaces over here. Yes. Um, so now we have the sound working. We can start moving inside and yeah, see where you're going to pick up your mail. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Robin, yeah, sounds great. Okay. That's what we like to hear. We love great sound. <laughs> and you know, you'll notice we are wearing masks. Uh, we are a campus that is wearing masks this fall. And so we're kind of showing you how we're doing that. Mm -hmm. Um, so here we are in a Dohi A, that's A for Apple, um, in this building. This also hosts some of our residents. Odohi Hall actually has about 708 beds, so we have about 708 residents throughout the year that can live here. Um, this is one part of the hall, but here's your entry lobby, and this will lead you right to your mailboxes, mm -hmm. where you can pick up any letter mail um, if you are in a Dohi A or a Dohi B. And then here is our desk where you will pick up packages that you send here to Adohi Hall. Uh, we do have uh, the plexiglass screen divider so that we can protect both your students and our staff while we are handling your packages and mail and getting those to you in a very safe way for this fall. Um, are there any questions about Adohi A, this area, mail or packages? Ask them as they come. Or where, where are people even uh, chiming in from? We're curious where you are right now. We'd love to hear. Uh, about that. Mm -hmm. um, there's, there's, there's trash right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have trash. We have recycling over here. You'll find that Adohi has um, been built with sustainability in mind mm -hmm. with the three R's of recycle, uh, recycle reduce, and reuse. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a printing station that you will be able to access um, for printing for our students in the hall. And then there's cross laminated timber all through the facility. You can see it here. And uh, hey, April's from Oklahoma. Ooh. Robin's from Dallas. Got some out of staters. Glad to have you come. Wonderful. Welcome. Yeah. For Virtually sure. to Arkansas. Harley from West Texas. Good stuff. And where are you from? I'm actually from the state of Michigan, the Mitten State, with two mm -hmm. peninsulas and a lot of lakes around. Uh, I spent most of my life there, and I still enjoy it and miss it, but I really love Arkansas. Nice, nice. Well, are we ready to go see the cabin? Yes. Okay. Head on over to the cabin, which is also known as a Dohi C. C for cabin. C for cabin. I don't know if that was planned, but maybe it was. We'll say it's planned. Yes. Someone with a lot of pun humor planned it. <laughs> Elenia is from Allen, Texas, and Jennifer from Missouri. Ooh. I think we're surrounded on all sides in a good way. So we're heading in. You might show the fog. Yes. Yeah, okay. This is going to be your fob when you uh, check in and grab your keys. Mm -hmm. This is actually going to get you access to all the fob and spaces of a Dohi. This is uh, one of our many security features that we have to keep students safe on campus. Lovely. So what would you say the cabin is? And what role does it play in a Dohi's life? I think the cabin is just a great way to kind of get outside your room 
but into another building where you can kind of hang out and disconnect that's still very close by. Um, this is a great way to kind of play video games, connect with other people, meet new people. It's also a great place to study. We have a lot of equipment and furniture um, available for that. Actually, our students um, chose a lot of this furniture when Adohi was being furnished, so you know it's gonna be comfy and with good use for yourself. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we also have like a bunch of TVs in here for that kind of engagement. You can do watch parties. There's a fireplace, um, I think, over here, isn't there? Yes. So whenever it gets colder, and it does get cold here in the Ozark Mountains during the winter, and you've got that fireplace right there. Yes, it does get a little chilly, especially with this wind that we have and experience just from the open nature of the building. Mm -hmm. You'll see a lot of that. Perfect. And Mariana from Montana? Ooh! Montana, all right. So you know the meaning of cold like I do from Michigan. So that's great. <laughs> <laughs> that's some serious colds. Well, what else do we have in the cabin? Yeah, we actually have this big open space because this is one of the ends for you mm -hmm. with some very cozy furniture. Um, we have in here um, stairs to go up to the upper level um, mm -hmm. and then a coffee bar here where you have a curing for yourself. So you bring your own K-cup, make your own cup of coffee really quick before class sure. maybe, um, as well as some sinks uh, to kind of wash your dishes in really quickly. Great. And then... Diana from the Woodlands, glad to have you. Um, and, you know, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna view of this space, it's really big. We get a lot of natural light here, um, and that really connects us to the nature and the environment aspect that we really wanna connect to Dohi to. Um, like I mentioned, with sustainability and that openness and being really connected to the wonderful beauties of our nature. And this is the largest cross-laminated timber building that's used for residential uh, at a university in mm -hmm. the country. And it was built with much less waste than with concrete or steel, which are traditional building materials. Mm -hmm. um, we also have here um, areas for pool and ping pong. Like I mentioned earlier, this is a great space to kind of just engage in the community mm -hmm. and really bond with the people that you live with. Um, during this time of year, it's always important to get that time um, amongst your studies so you can have that de-stressor. Yeah. And you have events here too, right? Yeah, we host quite a few events. Um, a lot of them are going to be here. Um, some are going to be in our creative community, which we'll get a peek at soon, which is exciting. Mm -hmm. And sometimes on the floors in those lounges areas. It really kind of depends on what type of programs uh, we're making, who um, we're inviting to it, and as well as like the safety and security of our students, as coronavirus will be a thing this fall. Right. But we are planning a lot of great engagements for this next year. Sure, sure. But it will look a little different as we're all saying. Yes. <laughs> gotcha. What else can we look at in the cabin before we head into the residential spaces? Um, we do have a kitchen at the other end, and I will show you what that looks like. It's gorgeous. Yeah, that's the community kitchen, right? Yes. Because Diana asks, what floors have kitchens? Um, um, I am pretty sure every floor has access to a small kitchen of some sort, um, like a kitchenette with sinks and storage areas to kind of utilize. Um, but the one of the few full kitchens are here in the cabin that gets most of the use. Yasmin asks, will common areas and kitchens be open this fall due to the pandemic? Yes, we will. We are actually um, in the process of planning procedures and policies so that we can all be safe during that time. Um, while opening up these, uh, these wonderful spaces for you to use as a student. So this will be open. Um, we will come out and once um, we have more messaging for you soon, we'll have those in place so you can kind of adhere to those and know um, what that is going to look like for the fall. Um, but here's our kitchen. Um, we have two stove tops and two ovens, two microwaves are kind of snuck away, and two fridges for wonderful access. Um, and that we have a lot of countertop space. Um, and that's what really makes a really great kitchen is having that countertop space and this social space with seating for you and your friends to kind of like um, cook together, bake together, um, or even just study here with the wonderful smells of great food. And we've collaborated with some campus partners that have come in. I think it was a sushi night or something one time. Yeah, we partner with Chartwells. Um, and they will come in and they'll teach you how to roll your own sushi, as well as um, talking about the wonderful significance of sushi and how it fits into the culture, so. 
Uh, Robin asks, where are the ice machines? Do we have ice machines in here? We do. Um, I think we do on the floors, too. Yeah, at the very minimum, I do know that there are ice makers in these two fridges right here. Anywhere you kind of see a fridge, you'll have one. Um, I'm not quite aware of any larger ones, but we can get back to you on that. Great. Well, where should we go next? Um, I say we explore the creative community because that is gorgeous. Everything's gorgeous is here, so. <laughs> and very unique to this particular space, too. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's head on out. green space going down the hill right here there's a mm -hmm. Yay. <laughs> also if you haven't uh, Adoki does host a, a lead hogs group um, we are accepting applications for lead hogs. Uh, it's a leadership involvement opportunity for all of our first year students as well as our upperclassmen. This is a great way to get involved in the hall, in the community. You get to have a lot of control and input in what kind of events or engagements you wanna see, as well as even get involved in Residence Inner Hall Congress, which is a great way to learn about legislation and impacting the university and on-campus housing as a whole. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, lots, lots of opportunities for involvement. Yes. Okay, well, let's head on in. You mind yeah. introducing us to who we see at the stairs Yes. There? Okay. This is the lovely Mary Peacock. <laughs> she is our creative community coordinator. Uh -huh. She, uh, her office is here in the hall and she actually works with a lot of all of our creative community spaces, reservations, and classes. Hi, Mary. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you do? So I am in charge of the entire creative community, which is in Adoki B building. Um, everything from the maker space, which has 3D printers, laser cutters, sewing machines. And then we also have like a performance area where we are right now, practice areas for theater and musician, their soundproof. Um, we even have a green room, spray booth, seminar rooms. You name it, we've got it probably. <laughs> and who uses these spaces mostly? It will be a Dohi and Pomfret students. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. great. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, this is a wonderful set of stairs. I know. Right? <laughs> we'll, we'll transverse them together. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Here we go. I'm used to it now. I think I could run down these. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you've had performances? Yeah. You've had performances? Yeah. We've had a couple performances, and the LL theater LLC and they use this as a practice area also mm -hmm. um, we even have a lighting um, just above us that you can use manually anybody can use them so you can turn on all of them or just a couple of them fancy 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 um, what is an LLC it's a living learning community we've got let's see here theater um, art I'm trying to remember them all hanging with me guys architecture um, entrepreneurship mm -hmm. and innovation. I'm missing one. Am music. I miss music. Music. Of yes. course. Music. What they're was big, I thinking? Lynchpin. They're, they're <laughs> big one. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we'll head on in and show yeah. some of the aspects of the creative community. So these are our practice rooms. Like I said, they're soundproof. The first one actually has a, a, a piano in it that you can use to play. Um, two through five. Um, actually are just plain. They have a music stand and also a chair. And the chairs are specific too because those are the ones that the music department uses for their finals. So we made sure we got the exact chairs for you guys. Well, how does that help? So it prepares them uh, for practicing. So they're already used to it in the actual final themselves. 
So they're not even like, oh my gosh, what chair am I going to use? So they're prepared completely. So it's really a good simulation of what they'll be oh, experiencing. Yeah, definitely. There's also electric, uh, electronic uh, metronomes in there too. Nice. Yeah. If anybody has any questions about the Adobe Creative Community, be sure and ask us. Because this is the person to ask, Mary. These last two rooms, six and seven, are very special. They actually have um, inside of them, they can change the acoustics in the room. Mm -hmm. So, you come on in. These are actually the metronomes that I was talking about, the electronic ones. But these two rooms right here, once you flip the switch, you can change the acoustics in the room. So in other words, if you wanted to, you can change it to an auditorium, like a large auditorium. So as I'm talking right now, not that big of a deal. But if I talk louder, you can hear the actual acoustics. I know, right? That is so cool. <laughs> Maddie hasn't seen it yet. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I don't know if the sound is translating, but I it know, is pretty cool. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> but also, you can actually record it and actually hook up your computer so that when you are practicing for your instruments or singing or even theater, you can actually record yourself and play it back to yourself. Love mm -hmm. it. Some really fun tools. Right? <laughs> and they're all free. They're all part of just living here. Huh? Yeah, that's it. There are some equipment that you'll have to get some training on, but that's really easy. Next year, I have my own team of creative community assistants who will actually be able to assist anybody with everything. Training, opening the rooms, the whole nine yards. This is our green room. The reason why we call it a green room is because we actually do have a green screen that we can put up. So this is for photography and film, uh, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. YouTube channels, anything you want to do in there. <laughs> can we make TikTok videos in there? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Okay. These are our seminar rooms. Two of them are equipped to actually have like teachers in them or uh, professionals of any kind. Mm -hmm. um, the last one is more like a conference room. It doesn't have that giant table desk in it. Okay. So plenty of meeting spaces for students. Oh, definitely. Or even just like, like study areas. They're great for big study groups. Very nice. Our spray booth just got done. It even says spray. It even says spray booth right yeah. there. All of my signs that I have created throughout the entire community, I actually did uh, did on the laser cutter itself. Oh, what? You did them yourself? <laughs> yes, I did them myself. I've actually started this summer to actually paint them, so I finally have time. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, what do you do in a spray booth? So anything that gives off a fume, um, different spray paints, um, glues, adhesives, um, oh, let's see, or stains, anything that gives off a fume that you can't have in a normal room like your bedroom, <laughs> you'll come down here and be able to use the spray booth anytime. Love it. <laughs> oh, where are we headed now? This is the maker space. sewing machines too they can embroider by the embroider. way yes. yeah and then we have our soldering station 3d printer laser cutter which i absolutely love and it is so easy to use it's ridiculous how easy the thing is to use laser cutter is right here. Actually, we've gotten, so all of the signs, lettering that I've done, even little figures that our students have made. Oh, nice. <laughs> I feel like that's a Lord of the Rings thing. Yes. <laughs> okay. And then 3D printer, which is really a lot of fun to use. We can do everything from big to dinky, dinky little guys. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. 
And how do, um, how do you get time here? How do you so request time? On our website, in housing, there's a creative community website, and there you'll be able to reserve the space. Um, due to the fact of the coronavirus, we're going to have to lock all the doors to make sure that everything is sanitized after somebody uses them. So all you have to do is actually come to this area, the maker space, find a creative community assistant, and they'll book you the room, and they'll let you in. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. And have we had a lot of usage of the space in the last year or so? Yes, especially during finals because the architect wood shop gets booked up. I know that the art building gets booked up quite a bit too. So this space is a great place to come and like finish up your finals right away. Great, great. Anything else you think that we should know out in out there in TV land about uh, <laughs> the Adobe Creative Community? We've actually got two more spots I'd love to show you. Sure. It is. And the students are able to use this. We actually had several podcasts last year, a couple of them sports podcasts, and they used it all the time. What is it exactly? What is that? So basically, this is the instrument or equipment that actually help you record your uh, anything from singing, um, podcasts. Um, even if you made a video, we can actually mix it on here, too. We can do all the sound through here. Wow, I think I've always seen those like <laughs> people making yeah, music videos. Yeah. Stuff like <laughs> great, great. And then, last but not least, is our movement studio. Everything from yoga to dance to theater, once again. Um, down actually underneath the floor that we're standing on mm -hmm. right now, there are springs. So this might not matter to you guys now, but when you're older, like me, <laughs> your knees are a problem. So this is going to actually help you guys with your legs and your knees and everything. So when you dance or do anything, it's actually helping you out quite a bit. I see. Fancy, mm -hmm. fancy floor, even. <laughs> right? <laughs> nice, nice. Okay. Well, great. There's so much. There's so much here in the uh, Adohi Creative Community. I'm sure I missed a ton. <laughs> and next year we'll be actually our Creative Community assistants will giving be giving classes to be offering for free for all the students that are living here, including 3D uh, printing classes, dance classes, yoga classes, kitchen classes. You guys just saw the kitchen and uh, the cabin. We'll be teaching you guys some cooking classes too. <laughs> Excellent, plenty of programming to go oh around. That's God, great. So much. Well, what do you think? Do you want to go look at the uh, upstairs, the residential spaces? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no problem. All right. Well, let's head up. Let's head upstairs and look at some of the uh, pods and semi suites rooms. And if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. We're still uh, eager to answer them for you. Let's go ahead and, yeah. Yeah, we'll do a quick stop here because we're going to show you what our laundry rooms look like. There is a laundry room in each of the buildings, A and B. Um, this is included in your uh, room and board and fees, so it's all free. You do not need any quarters to run these machines. We also have a laundry app, so you can really tell when someone is already doing the laundry in a certain machine, um, and then you can tell when it's time for yours that is done. Um, we also have great QR codes right here on the machines. So if one is broken, you can report it and get it fixed right away. All right. One of our, one of our friendly staff members is missing. Show them the kitchen and the laundry. Yeah, we'll show them the laundry now. Yes. 
Show them a kitchen on the floors, too. I think we're going to show one on... Show one on floor four, I believe. Mm -hmm. And actually, to refer back to an earlier question, we do have some full ice machines in every laundry room. One is right here for you. Yes, there, <laughs> there is the uh, ice machine. We I got, got you. We got you. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go up to uh, one of the floors. And the name of that laundry uh, app is Laundry Alert. There it is. <laughs> now you've been here with housing for a few years now, right? Yeah, this is actually going to be my third year in housing as a coordinator. Um, You've lived at, uh, you've worked at different halls prior to this? Yeah, actually the last two years I was here, I was actually the CRE for Reed Hall, um, which is a really great community and place to work. It's one of our all women's halls on campus. And geographically the exact opposite of this. Yes, they moved me from the northern point of campus to the southern point. <laughs> okay. um, here's one of our kitchens, yeah. we'll go through those first and then we'll show you um, kind of the end of the halls where our study lounges are and get into a room. Okay. We'll show that little garden too, I think. Mm -hmm. okay. So every other floor. Every other floor has one kind of like this. <laughs> That's a nice view right out there. Yeah, uh, so the only difference is that there's no full refrigerator in these kitchenettes. Okay. Um, so we'll look at the. Uh, at the semi suites first? Does that sound right? Uh, the pods, right? Yeah. Yeah. Either's, either's fine. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. Let's do that. Um, because that's where the garden community is. Yeah. I'm going to check that out as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, you might have lost the feed for a second while we were on the elevator. That's pretty typical, but it should be, it should be coming back any minute. Okay. So in the pod side of the hall, you are going to see um, a bunch of rooms, you're going to see some areas where there are bathrooms, and then you are going to see little pockets where there are community spaces with furniture, which are really dedicated to the people who are in that section of that hallway to really kind of join in and be in a community together. So it's kind of like a little mini community within the floor. So here are one of our lounge spaces. And I believe that's about every six to eight rooms, right? Yeah, just about. And then each room has two people in it. So you're getting about a community of maybe 12 to 16, if my math is right. Mm -hmm. um, Diane asked what room. And right now we're at room B404. Mm -hmm. So this is, gonna, this is like our rooftop garden that is geared towards butterfly living. Do you want to go out on it? Yeah, we'll go out on it. So this connects actually the B building to the A building that we were in in the beginning of the live stream. You get a wonderful overlook towards Bud Walton Arena as well as a little bit um, more openness and ability to love in the natural lighting that we have here in Adoki and spend some outside time. Lovely. Okay. Well, thanks for showing us this space. And at the end of every floor, we do have a study area space with chairs and tables mm -hmm. um, just for studying and everything. They're a little bit different than the community spaces. Let's take a quick look down there just so they can see what that is. Yeah. Um, Chris asks if the sixth floor has a kitchen. Um, I think it's every other floor, so probably so, but we can make sure. Yes, we can make sure. So yeah. Yeah, so this is the TV lounge in the area that um, is on every floor at the end. Some of them have really nice little nooks where you can crawl into, into the wall and mm -hmm. read in. They're really cozy and comfy. Nice. Um, do we want to start at 404? Yeah, that's fine. Let's let's go into uh, a bathroom real quick too, though. Mm -hmm. 
Here's a women's bathroom, yeah. Just gonna double check. Hello? Awesome. Okay. So these bathrooms are going to be available to the people who live in the pod style rooms. Um, they are equipped with, I think, two toilets. One of them is ADA accessible. So if you need that, um, we have that, as well as shower space in the other two. Let's see, can we get into one of those showers just to give them a sense of what's in there? Yes. This is a shower. Yes. So you have a little entry space, um, so you can kind of um, get ready for your shower, close off the area, and then um, get some really nice shower heads and water pressure there. Get a little built in right there. And this one is, it looks like it's ADA as well. Mm -hmm. Or do they all have that seating area? They may all have that little seating. Um, no. So that okay. is our ADA, um, and then this one is just slightly different. Okay. Very nice. Thank mm -hmm. you. And then we'll continue on to the room. Yeah. We'll start at 404, like we stopped by earlier. Um... Robin asks, are these bathrooms cleaned or do students clean them? Um, these pod style bathrooms are cleaned by our in, um, our in building staff. We use um, Absolute um, as a company that comes in and cleans. They will also be making sure that they are coming in and cleaning um, as CDC guidelines recommend um, for this fall as well. And the semi, the semi suites are cleaned by the students themselves, but yes. the pod style. Yeah, because there's an exterior door um, that doesn't connect directly to a room, those are going to be um, cleaned by building staff. Um, Myla asks, how many people to a bathroom? And um, can you, what were there, three, maybe three uh, bathroom facilities in that bathroom? Does that seem right? Or four? Um, two uh, toilet mm -hmm. stalls and then two shower stalls. Okay. Um, so I guess at max you could probably have four, maybe a little bit more, like at the sinks. Um, if you're thinking coronavirus guidelines, those will be coming out soon and published. So look out for those if we are, um, as soon as we are able to make those decisions on what that looks like for you. Hey, Yasmin's got a question for us about some dimensions. Yes. In a regular room. First one she's asking about is the depth of the closet. And so how deep is that closet? Mm -hmm. Let me know if you need assistance there to measure. Okay. Oh, goodness. We are looking about 25 and 5 eighths inches. 25 and 5 eighths inches. I got it down to the eighth. That's, that's pretty precise. I yeah. appreciate that. Um, uh, the height from the shelf to ceiling in the closet. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Scott, can you help? <laughs> you get an assist. Thirty-two inches, and then dimensions of the two drawer units, including shelves. Are we talking about um, these night sides or the three drawer system? I think let's look at the um, let's look at the uh, at the drawers over there, the three drawers. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what's the dimension? Yeah, dimensions. So both the height and the and the width. Yeah. So the width of the drawer looks like it's about precisely 28 inches. Okay. Height. Go from the bottom here. 30 and a half inches. 30 and a half inches for that one. Okay. Um, the distance between the beds. And Scott, can you can you help her with that with that one? And assuming that they're up against the walls. Yeah, that's yeah. just assuming maximum distance that you could do. Go ahead and do bed frame to bed frame. I think okay. that's probably best. Oh, the, the black parts. Yeah, just to be sure. We're looking at about 62 and a half inches. 62 and a half inches for that. And then the distance from the foot of the bed to the wall. And I'm assuming we mean this wall here. Yep, this one. Um, so from here to here. 
Mhm. Fifty-one inches for that. And then Robin has a question for us: the height from the rod to the floor inside that closet. About 59 inches there, Robin. And then Marianne asked the width of the closet itself. Did we, I don't think we did width of that closet. Mm -hmm. No, we did depth, but we didn't do width. width. Okay, 35 and three quarters. Okay, 35 and three quarters. 35 and three quarters, Marianne. And then Paige asks, how high is the floor to the bottom of the bunk bed as set up there right now? And that's a pretty good height. You can get some things underneath there. I'm guessing it's like from here where the lip is underneath here. So that's what I'm going to do for you. Right. Um, 35 and a half. Just that's under 35 and a half. Just under 35 and a half there. Um, and then Robin has height fridge space and shelf above. So the height, fridge, space, and shelf above, I think we're talking about maybe that interior right there. Because um, that's sort of a fridge space, I guess, between the two. Okay, so we can do here. Yeah. Um, 44 and a half. Okay, great. Um, and Anne Louise mentions that the desk chairs are convertible. And yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Do you know how to do the convertible conversion? Have I you done have, it before? I have not done it before. Okay. Um, Scott, Scott, do you remember? Did you ever do the conversion? My hands are full. I can't do the conversion. Mm -hmm. Mary, do you know how to do the conversion? Mm -hmm. Will you be my hands while I show you how to do the conversion? Absolutely. Okay. So pull out that chair right there. And then <laughs> underneath, you're going to find a little latch. Oh, here's this. Uh -huh. Boom. Oh, yeah, you almost got it. Yep. And it, it converts to a little table and a little gamer chair that you can rock on if you want to. And when I say rock, I mean rock. You can rock on that chair. So, yeah, thanks, uh, Anne Louise, for, for calling that out. Um, Amanda uh, asks, are there two closets with a rod or just one? There are two, one for each resident. Hmm. Sorry. Not at all. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and Mariana, are the beds lofted? And I would say, yes, they are. Yes, they are lofted, but not to the maximum height. Um, Robin asks for the shelf above the fridge shelf for like a Keurig. Could like, a Keurig? Oh, yeah. So like the distance between the two shelves? Yeah, yeah. I can do that. Um, 16 and a half inches. Okay. Mm -hmm. Robin, 16 and a half inches there. And fridge closet, Amanda asks. And when we say fridge closet, I'm thinking yeah. hmm? the little guy. Uh, yeah. yeah. Right, the one down there. Yes. Mm -hmm. So could you give us the length, the width, and the height of that dimension, of that okay. cube right there? So we did height. We did height. We did height. So we can do width and depth for you. Thank you. Um, we're just going to go up here. If this is going to be. 24 inches in width. Okay. And then depth. Uh, 26 inches and looks like 26 and 1 eighth. Okay, okay. 26 and 1 eighth on that. Great. Well, should we go check out the, uh, the semi suites? Yes, the seat style rooms. Yes. And a lot of these dimensions will carry forward into the semi suites. It's just that you additionally have a bathroom in there. Mm -hmm. uh, Marianne asked to see the, the desks and seeing the left side of the room. What we look at in the uh, semi suite will be very, very similar. Mm -hmm. And so we'll just use the semi suite as the example. You bet, Amanda, no problem, our pleasure.
Oh, and every floor, every floor has, is named for a different tree. And here we have the northern red oak. These are all indigenous trees to Arkansas. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's one of our suites. Okay. What is it? Five, four, six, one. Okay. So she wanted to see the left side and the right side. So let me go ahead and give that. Yep. There's the desk. I'll just do a whole sweep. Do you mind opening the drawer on the side of the bed? Any one of them. So you've got three of those, three of those drawers. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at the bathroom too. Yeah. So here's the bathroom with the shower. You have some towel racks. This will have to be cleaned by the residents in this space. Um, so be prepared for that, um, bringing some uh, cleaning supplies to upkeep this area for um, your residents and students. Hmm. It's actually a nice, very nice shower. Mm -hmm. And then sink area. Yep. There was a measurement requested um, to me through email about the distance between these two areas. So okay. if I can get a quick measurement. Sure, on that. let's do that for that for, yeah. for the, the email submitter. Um, we're gonna go across the wall. Okay, so it looks like it is gonna be about 12 and one quarter inch for distance between this shelf and the countertop. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. um, some other questions have come in from Diane asks, um, they have shower curtains? Yes, they are. They do have shower yes. curtains. Um, Amanda asks, these floating shelves here, uh, can you give us the length and the depth of those? Yeah, I can get those. Um. Alyssa asks about the changing shower curtains. Um, Alyssa, you can put your own shower curtain in, certainly. Mm -hmm. We just asked that the shower curtain that that you moved in is here when you move out. Mm -hmm. So the length of these floating shelves look to be about 13 and one quarter inch in length. Okay. 13 and one quarter inch in length. And then depth. Um, I'm gonna say three and seven eighths inches, give or take a little bit because of my angle for viewing it. Three and seven, what? Seven eighths. Seven eighths inches, okay. Um, so let's see, Chris asked wall space width by the desks, the wider wall on the right side. So this one? Wide, uh, wall space width by the desks, yes. Uh, wall on the right side, the wider one. This That's one? the wider one, I think, yeah. Um, let's see. It looks like it might be 70 or 69 and 70. It's 70. Okay. Mm -hmm. About 70 inches right there. Um, and Sabrina asked, what's the distance between the pipe that runs down under the sink to the side of it all? Okay. Um, so the side of the wall to the side. pipe. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I'm going to include this circle here um, at the end of my measure measurement. Okay, so to the circle opening, it's 21 and three quarters of an inch. And then to the pipe, it is 25 and a half inches. Okay, so 21 and three quarters to the hole, and then 25, you said, to the pipe? 25 and a half to the pipe. 25 yeah. and a half to the pipe, okay. Um, let's see. Amanda asked the vanity shelf under... Um, Vanity shelf under the sink height. Yes, um, I Amanda, I got that okay. um, a little that earlier. Okay. It was one of the first measurements I did. I can remeasure it though. Okay, that's okay. Um, April, uh, Chris, you're, you're welcome. Thank you for asking. And then April asks, is there a refrigerator space in these rooms like in the previous 
room? Is there a designated kind of where you would put a refrigerator? Um, not an extra space like you saw. Um, really, the space that you have is to kind of put it into the wall would be here with the closets. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, that's about right. Um, and then Brandy asks, which side of the room is A or B? And the answer to that is, uh, we don't know until you get here. You get yeah. to make that choice once you arrive. Do you have anything you want to add? Yeah. About? Typically, what our staff d does is we go uh, clockwise in order for letters. So this side um, would be A, and this side would be B. Um, but naturally, depending on what your residents and students need for um, design in their room, um, that is open to it. But how we define it is A and B. Okay. Um, Harley asks, can you hang a TV? Or where's a good place to put one? Hang? I don't think you can hang a TV unless there's a way you can fix it. Probably it's too heavy, wouldn't you think? Yes. Um, I don't know the facilities um, mechanics for that one. Um, I would say do not plan to hang your TV on the wall, um, mm -hmm. but we can get more information if you want to email me later and I can ask what that might look like for facilities, but I wouldn't plan on hanging a TV on these walls. Yeah. Um, let's see, we've got uh, Jaden asked, what's the distance under the beds end to end? Um, do we measure that? Oh, um, it's from here to here. Yeah, and I've got I've got that dimension mm -hmm. uh, on the website, and I can go get that for you. I can get that for you. Um, Sydney asks, could you get the desk and side table measurements? Yes, um, I believe the side tables might be on the website, but just in case, I'll measure those for you as well. Um, width of the table slash desk mm -hmm. is. 31 and 7 eighths. Okay. Depth is 24 and 1 quarter for depth. And height, uh, 30 and 1 quarter for height. Okay. Thank you. Um. And then 30 and a half for height for the nice side. For width is 17 and one quarter for width. And then depth is 24 and three eighths. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Um, height on the vanity table to the floor. I think we, did we get that one, I think? Or the vanity table to the floor. Um, Sabrina asked about the wiring on the wall, and this is all connected to um, cable. This is all part of cable and to a degree uh, wireless as well. There's wireless in every room through the ResNet service. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we've caught up on all the questions. That was a great, a great series of questions. Yeah. Do you have anything, any thoughts or words for those who are going to be joining your community this fall? Yeah, I'm just really excited to meet all the incoming students and residents. Most of all, I'm just really happy to see you all coming at MoveIn and uh, um, just kind of come into this new experience that we're all going to be experiencing in the fall. Um, I am here to serve the students um, as well as give them the resources they need on campus along with the resident assistance on each floor that we have. We are here for you, we are here to serve you and make sure everyone has a really great fall semester and ultimately a great spring semester to set you off for the rest of your college career, so. Absolutely, okay, will you, will you wave us out? Yeah. Um, okay. Bye everybody, I'm Maddie and I can't wait to see you.